Hello, what's up guys? It's your guy Promise you once again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about tips and how to get an appointment for your German student visa. So if you're ready for this video, stay tuned. Hi guys, once again to the channel. If today is the first time you are seeing me, my name is Promzi. I'm a Guyanian based in Germany, currently pursuing my master's. And on my channel, I give tips like this to international students who wish to come to Germany and continue their studies. So if you've reached this point in your application, I would like to say congratulations. That means you've gotten an admission in a German school and you are now looking forward to attend the visa interview to get your visa and come to Germany. But if you've been on the German Embassy's website, you probably see this image and saying that there's no available slot at the moment, the next month and for the next three months. However, there are some tips and ways to go around it, which will increase your chances of getting a slot and that's what we are going to talk about in this video so before we start on the tips i would like to see what you shouldn't do do not go to the website and book in advance even if you've not gotten your admission even if your documents are not ready in advance for an interview if a lot of students do that that's what brings up to this point where students who are ready for the interview do not have slot and students who don't have admission who don't have their block account who don't have their documents ready already have slot and they'll end up cancelling in the last minute. This wouldn't go anywhere to help the student body. It will just stress the people who are ready. And if the time comes for you to be ready and people who are not ready have booked the slot, then it's going to be a cycle that never ends. Mind you, if you keep on booking, cancelling, booking, cancelling, the embassy is going to block your access to the website because they think you're just messing up with them. So have that one also in mind. One other thing I should make clear is the only way to get a legal booking at the embassy is through the embassy's website. You can call the embassy through the phone to make an appointment and this is the only way to go about it. The first slot is being a category A student. If you're not done with your undergrad, then I advise you try your possible best to get a first class, not only to get an admission or a slot at the German embassy website. Of course, you are a first class student. But if you're a first class student, that means you don't have to go and go into the waiting period. There's a special slot for first class students. That's the category A student. And these people don't go to their ups and downs in getting appointments. So if you're not doing your undergrad and you're watching this video, you can push in a little more effort and push yourself to a first class student. The second one is getting 80 and above in the Goethe Institute exams in Ghana. So since it's highly recommended that you do the A1 before coming to Germany, most students or most people who come to school in Germany take the A1 exams. And it's not very difficult. It's easy. I wouldn't say easy, but you can pass easily. If you get above 80, then you are also put in the category A student. You wouldn't have to go through the hustles, the ups and downs to get an appointment at the embassy for an interview. So yes, you can put in that effort when you're writing the exams and make sure you get 80 or above during the exams, which is somehow very achievable and will be a category A student and it will be easier for you to get an appointment still on the category a student if you are going to the embassy and your source of finance is through scholarship you automatically a category a student and you wouldn't have to go through the ups and downs so yeah that's it for the category a student so the next one is for the category b student you have to visit the website and keep searching for appointment don't buy into the notion that there are no appointment and just be there no appointment and never visit the website yes most of the time, there are no appointments, but if you keep on visiting the website, you are most likely to get an appointment. So one thing you should know is the embassy's website refreshes itself every day at 12 o'clock a.m. Is it p.m. or a.m.? At dawn. So students or people who will not be available for one or two reasons who have cancelled the appointment during the previous day, this slot will be available at 12 o'clock when the website is refreshed. The refresh on the website is down 12, 12 at dawn German time. So you have to know whether you are leading Germany, whether you are behind Germany, and how the gap between your home country and Germany. And you should be searching for your appointment at these times. In Ghana, during the summertime, Germany is ahead of us two hours, and during winter, Germany is ahead of us one hour. So depending on the time or the season that you are making your appointment, have this 
time gap in your mind. If it's 12 o'clock in Germany, it's 10 o'clock p.m. in Ghana. So you web, you use that time gap and go on the website and most likely you are going to find a slot when the website is being refreshed. It's not a 100% guarantee that you're going to find a slot when you visit the embassy's website at 10 p.m. or 11 p.m. Ghana time, GMT, but there's a high chance that you're going to get an appointment during this period. I do understand finding an appointment at the embassy is very stressful and can be very challenging, but that's the process everyone has to go through. I know you just have to keep on looking for appointment, looking for appointment, and finally, what? One day you're going to be lucky and get an appointment. So if you're still watching at this point, then you'll be interested in watching this video where I spoke about questions that are most likely to pop up during a German student visa interview. I hope you find this video very educative and informative. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and put a nice comment in the comment section below. Like always, the name is Promzi and I'm signing out. Peace.